Shruti and today we are going to make the most ordered recipe in any Andhra restaurant. It is the Andhra pepper chicken fry. Let's get frying. For the pepper chicken fry we need 250 grams of chicken boneless which I have cut in medium sized fillets about an inch. We need a teaspoon of corn flour, a teaspoon of rice flour, we need a teaspoon of coriander powder, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of pepper powder and we need half a teaspoon of haldi and half a teaspoon of chilli powder. We also need a teaspoon and a half, about two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste and salt to taste. We need two teaspoons of lemon juice and we need a few green chilies and curry leaves to fry later. So now let's start making the pepper chicken. For that, we need to put two teaspoons of lemon juice. We need to put the two, almost two teaspoons of the ginger garlic paste. And we need to put all our spices, the coriander powder, the garam masala, pepper, haldi and chili powder all inside. We need to put in the salt as well now and we can uh, adjust the salt later. So let's mix this first. So now that you can see it's a thick paste, to that we will drain out the water from the chicken completely and add it to it. Now, if you can see, I have cut the chicken into strips which are as long as my fingers and they are about half an inch to an inch thick so that it's easier for you to fry and make sure it's boneless. So you mix this completely well. And to this, I'm adding the curry leaves. And for the green chilies, make sure you're slitting them in the center so that they don't blast in the oil. And the number of chilies is completely optional. If you want it spicy, you can add more. But uh, this is no way going to alter the taste of your chicken because this is going to be used as a garnish later, which I will tell you once I finish frying the chicken. I'll be putting the rice flour and the corn flour, a teaspoon each. And now I will use my hands to completely mix the chicken. Make sure the flour has completely coated the chicken and please adjust the salt. Now this chicken is ready to be fried. I let it sit for about 10 minutes to marinate it well. If you don't want to marinate the chicken it's fine. You can fry it directly but I advise you know, just let it sit for 10 minutes so that the taste is not compromised. So let's get frank. Now my kadhari and the oil is smoking hot, I want to be it. Uh, make sure it's not very hot, otherwise your chicken is going to get burnt and it will remain raw inside. So make sure the oil is controlled to medium heat. Now I'm going to only pick up the chicken and not the chilies and the curry leaves yet. And I have separated the curry leaves and the chilies on the side. I want to fry them last. So let's only fry the chicken pieces. Drop them very slowly. Do not hurry up with this process. And do not overcrowd the kadhai as well. Otherwise the oil temperature will drop down. And for after a few seconds, you start moving them very slowly so that the coating outside the chicken uh, does not come off. I'm going to drain them out on a kitchen paper. Now is the time for the interesting part. Why it is the Andhra fried pepper chicken. I'm going to be frying the remaining chilies and the curry leaves from the mi mixture itself. You drop it up in the oil. Be very careful when you do this. It's going to splutter. 
exactly for a few seconds to a minute because once the chilies will change the color I'm going to drain them out as well. And crispy fried spicy Andhra fried chicken is absolutely ready. It was that easy. Everything in one bowl, it's fried and enjoy your wings this time with this snack. Now, that's how a fried chicken is supposed to taste. Enjoy!